Hey everybody, I'm back. Took a few days off to get a few things set on the site, but everything's good now. So I've got time now to, to give you another bracelet. Um, I want to show you the three different uh, Solomons here. Um, let me zoom in on these for you so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm going to try to make this as short as I can, but this video might take a little while to get everything across. So we have the standard Solomon here. It's just one color, about as basic paracord bracelet as you can get. This is the same thing. The gray is the same underneath. And then basically you do the Solomon over top of it again. And that's called the King Solomon. Now I was messing around a little bit uh, today with some paracord. And this is what I always do. This is how I come up with some new ideas. Maybe practice before I make the video. But this is what I... I don't know if this has been made yet. And I tried to do some research on it. But this was... There's so many Cobra bracelets out there. And so many variations that's... There's just a lot of information, and I did not see this one. This is one that I did not see, um, but I, I'm going to call it the Queen Cobra. So you got the King Cobra, and you have the the Queen Cobra right here. This is the one that we're going to make today. Um, let me get these out of the way, and basically I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what this is. It's basically just the regular Cobra but you have two separate strands here so we've got two cows hitches at the end that bring it together and I'll show you I'll go step by step on this um, let me zoom back out on here now I'm gonna prepare my I'm gonna come back because I haven't prepared this cord yet but basically I'm gonna start off with 12 feet of black which I have here one of the new colors we've got now is what we call the day glow you can kind of zoom in on this for you. It's a pretty cool color. It's uh, neon green with uh, yellow neon diamonds. It's called the Day Glow. Um, I, I have to cut these in half. So I've got 12 feet of Day Glow and 12 feet of black. I'm going to cut them in half, fuse them together. So I'll have 6 feet of black, 6 feet of Day Glow on one strand, and then the same, I'll have an identical strand to that. But let me get that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I need to show you here is that whatever color you want to be on your outside of the bracelet like on this one it's yellow and the inside is turquoise you need your outside color to be on the outside half of your cow's hitch so in this case I want the yellow that's on here I want that to be black so I'm gonna make that my outside color so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go with my other cords here which I've done the same thing with go down through the top of the buckle and make make sure that your outside color is on the outside of the buckle so in this case I want my outside colors again to be black and I want my inside colors like on this one they're, they're blue I want those to be this day glow color so I've got two cows hitches in total I've got 24 feet of paracord on here I'll probably end up cutting some of that off at the end but I, I'll let you know um, how much. So now I've got the buckle set this way. So what I need to do is flip this over and run this up through the buckle. I'm going to do one of these cut away because this, this video is going to take a little longer so I just want to save you a little time. I'm going to run this up through the bottom of the buckle making sure that my outside color is indeed on the outside part of the buckle. So you can see now I've got black on the outside here, loops around, comes through and is still on the outside here. I'm going to cut away real quick, do the other one and I'll be back. Okay so I got to the point where I've got all my, my cordage coming up through the buckle. I'm going to open up the buckle, take your left cords, pull them off to the left. I've got some ambulances going by shop sits kind of far back so I'm kind of surprised we even heard that all right all right let's see so I, I'm gonna base this off my King Cobra that I did that's a little too big for me it's about an inch too big so that looks about right I actually want to wear this one all right so we need to decide which side to start with so Basically, we've got two sets of cords here. You've got your right cords and your left cords, just as if you were making the uh, Solomon bar. 
um, you'd have a left and a right. So I'm going to start with the left side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger right here to create a loop. And what I want to happen is when I create this loop, I want the black cord to be on top when it goes over the middle. Just like that. So I have my loop here. I've got my black cord on top of the of this green colored cord here. I'm just going to do just a regular Solomon. I'm just going to grab these two, go over the top of these two, go behind the back without twisting your cords, come up through that hole. Now this is very, very important to, to see what I'm doing here. I have, let me just double check my length here again. Uh, it looks a little short, so I'm going to have to pull up a little bit. There we go. That should be good. All right, so this is very important, this part here. You want your blacks to be on top. I can zoom in on this for you so you can kind of see what's going on here. I've got the two black cords are on the top, my day glow are on the bottom. So I'm going to do it again with my finger. So I'm going to create a loop. And I'm just, I, I really just create that loop so that the black stays on top. And what I mean by on top is that <laughs> wow, I'm really messing up with these cords here. What I mean when I say that they're on the top, it just means that the, the black, this, this cord here, is above this one. And it's very important when it comes to this because that's going to determine your colors on the outside part of your bracelet. Alright, so I'm just going to go over top, go through that loop with both cords, and if it's done right, We've got our blacks on top again. Tighten this up. I would suggest pulling this pretty tight. And one thing you can do is pull with your black ones and then pull with the ones below. And then just kind of, you'll know when you've got it too tight. I'm going to zoom out just a little here. I'll show you another one. So I use my finger, wrap the cords around your finger. Make sure the black one stays above. So you're going to take the left side over the over the four middle strands. Keep your outside color on top. Come over top with your right strands. Go behind the back. Take it up through that loop there. And if you did it right, your black ones will be on top again. Real easy. It's just the Solomon with an extra couple strands in there. The advantage to doing one this way instead of doing it King Cobra style, which is this one here, is that you uh, you get about the same amount of paracord on here, which I'll go over at the very end too. We'll see exactly how much we got once I cut the ends off. Um, you're using about the same amount of paracord, but you're you're only having to build. You're only ha having to go over it one time instead of going back over it a second time. Go back up through here. It's got a pretty cool look to it. I love this day glow color with the black. Got a couple other new colors here. Kind of out of, out of shot, but got the, uh, oh, what is that? Orange camo. And then that green and purple crazy looking one. That's called. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. I said crazy because it's called Plum Crazy. Just got those in a few days ago. Been working pretty hard to get them up on the site. We had a ton of stock of this stuff, so check it out. Alright, so you can kind of see the pattern we got going here. Yeah, I really like this. So This one might be one of my new favorites. <laughs> Seems like every time I make a new bracelet, I always have a new favorite. So... Um, let me finish this up. I'll get down to the bottom. There is a certain way you've got to do this just so that you don't have all your cords melted at the same point. But uh, if you're going to do this one, make sure you use a big buckle. The little one just would not look right on here. That's the little one there. Alright, I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I am now down to the bottom here. And what I want to do is I want to end my blacks here, but I want to continue the uh, day glow one more step. So what you want to do is you want to pull really tight on your blacks and then really tight on the other color. 
Um, I'm just going to leave the blacks there for now, and I'm going to finish this off with one more Solomon down here at the bottom. So take your right over your left, left over your right, go behind the back, go up through that loop, pull this tight. What that does is that gives you two different spots. Instead of having both cords together, cutting them, lighting them, you have two different spots so that you have smaller burnt ends. So I'm going to show you how to do one of these, cut away, and show you the final product. So you just cut the end pretty close to where it's going to uh, go into the bracelet there. We'll melt the end here. And what I've been doing recently is uh, using a pair of scissors to push this in. Give it a kind of a rocking motion, makes it nice and smooth all the way over. Well, that's really good right there. Um, I guess I'm not going to break away. Alright, so, like I said, I was going to call this one the... Uh, Zoom out, there we go. We're going to call this one the uh, Queen Cobra. So you have the Cobra, standard Cobra, um, and then you have the King Cobra. And I'm hopefully that nobody else has created this one. This is going to be the Queen Cobra. And if you know of anybody seen this one posted somewhere else before you've seen this video, please let me know. I'll get the name changed. I'll give credit where credit is due. There's just so many. I know overseas a lot of people are really getting into this. I don't know if it's Japan or China. But uh, it's definitely a lot of people creating a lot of stuff right now, it seems like. So even giving credit to somebody here in the U.S. for creating something, we really don't know if somebody else overseas created it. So it's really hard to, you know, gauge. I'm not taking this too seriously um, as far as that goes. Uh, you know, if I do my research, I find that there's nothing else out there like it, and I'm going to give it a name. That's why I try to get people to let me know if the name is created already. I get that changed. I'll put the, the person's name on there that did it before me. I have no problem with that. All right, so... I've got the ends all fixed up there. Using a rocking motion to melt those down. Perfect. And that'll keep your ends looking really nice. Um, and it looks like I've cut off about, I don't know, maybe 20 inches there. Yeah, about another 20 inches there, I think. So is that about three, a little over three feet. And then we got another two feet of the black because the black uses a little more because it's on the outside of the bracelet. So five feet off of 22. So you got about 17 feet of paracord, good usable paracord here. Um, it's a pretty stiff, stiff bracelet. What I did, um, I should probably mention this to make this nice and stiff. What I did is I held onto the buckle and I pushed everything up, um, and that made it a lot stiffer than this one. You can kind of see it's quite a bit stiffer. Um, so you got, just to recap here, we've got the uh, Solomon or Cobra, the King Cobra, and the Queen Cobra. It uses all the same Solomon tie, but a lot more paracord. Um, these are going to have about the same amount of paracord. Lots of different color combinations you could do with this because you've got four strands to work with, possibly four different colors you could work with on this. So there's multiple different color combinations and patterns you can do with that um, but that's the final product hope you like it thanks for watching my videos check out boardparacord.com i've got a few articles on there in the blog and you can view the videos on the website as well thanks for watching please subscribe